Happy Fit, Happy Fat. Celebrating happy moments throughout our journey where we reflect on our progress and how we continue making gains both ways as a brand and as a community. Oh, wow! <laughs> there it is. Oh shit, yeah, it's a mix. Hi everybody, my name is Matt and I'm the videographer and the photographer for Kind of Fit, Kind of Fat. Hey everybody, my name is Monica. I'm in charge of the brand communications for Kind of Fit, Kind of Fat. Hi, my name is Chad. I'm the brand officer for Kind of Fit, Kind of Fat. So Chad, what was one of your favorite videos that we've done in the last six years and why? For sure, my favorite videos were absolutely the first ones we did. Especially the first one. I remember uh, hitting up Matt. We were relatively new and didn't really have any experience doing you know, any shoots or anything like that. But I know I had an idea and a vision in my head and that was to kind of portray the message of the brand. Kind of like, you know, incorporate humor Stuff like that, but still be, ground, yeah, still be grounded in our message. So came up with a storyboard and I sent it to Matt and he's like, let's do it. So at that time, Matt, were you already doing like cinematography, videography or? I was just kind of getting into it. I had just started my wedding film brand and uh, I wanted to dabble in some commercial stuff. We've been friends since I was like five years old or something like that. I was honored that you guys would want me to be a part of it. Yeah, I really loved how you brought like from Call It Captivations of like the storytelling, um, the sentiment, like, but also incorporating a little bit of like what we bring with the playfulness and the humor, like what Chad mentioned, um, and just telling the story in that way as well. Like I said, like I've known these guys for years, right? So <laughs> even just once I heard kind of fit, kind of fat, I almost kind of like got it. Yeah. I was like, oh, say less. Like it like, makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> we could just take off from there. And we did. I mean, it's grown and six years feels like it's been 10, but it also still feels like it's only been one or two years because we still have so much more to do, so. So Matt, what was one of your uh, favorite shoots that we've done together? Probably the not notorious lift shoot that we did. We literally found a parking lot yeah. in, uh, in the middle of the night. We set up some lights. We had some dancers from Poriotics come out and, awesome. and dance. And then we brought an Olympic weightlifting guy. So that was actually your vision of just like having the dancers and yeah. the night scene and everything too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so an idea that I had um, conceptualizing the Notorious Lifts collaboration was showing the versatility of the shoe um, and just looking at it from first glance, it looked like ninja shoes. So I was like, yo, it'd be dope if we can have like these dancers who look like ninjas. A little stealthy. Yeah, though. but then incorporate the, the fitness aspect into it. Yeah, we've done a lot of great collaborations with fitness brands and things that, you know, fit what people would think we would collab with. So we've done you know, collabs with Notorious Lifts, Massonomics, um, Obsidian Ammonia, Latina Lifters was an awesome collab we just did recently. Um, but I also, yeah, I also <laughs> love that we are able to actually collab with, I guess, non-fitness brands, you know, so with Johnny Cupcakes, Adapt Streetwear, um, clothing brand, um, the restaurants. We did the Rose City Pizza one yep. with Pizza uh, P. That was that fun. Was uh, milk and tea, uh, so many, like I, I really love that we've done so many along the years and it, it doesn't box us in with being in a specific community and just showcasing the versatility and the diversity of who we're able to work with. There, there's a whole bunch of different kind of media that you can make and sometimes like sometimes they're just to sell a product but I truly believe we just don't sell a product. We, we sell the idea of like our community and I don't know when I look at all this I just feel like really humbled because it's uh, yeah it's, it's super powerful. It connects with a lot of people. So after these six years that we've done these amazing videos, I have to ask, and I'm sure everybody wants to know, what is actually the goal of what you want the viewers to see when they see the videos? When we shoot our KF videos, um, usually our number one goal is to showcase the product, um, you know, showcase the details, the functionality, see it in action. But more than that, we try to uh, showcase also the emotions um, and message of Kind of fit, kind of fat. We try to make it relatable to the viewer in more ways than just you know the product or a T-shirt. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Happy Fit, Happy Fat. If you're curious on these videos that we're talking about, make sure you head over to our YouTube to check them out. And we'll catch you on the next bite. See ya.